Elliott. Gibbs White involved. Elliott. Doyle. Here's Livramento. Elliott. Promise again, and Livramento in there. And Balogun. Well, it's only a matter of time. England off to a flyer. A goal against the Czech Republic, and now very probably the first of many here against Andorra, if the pattern is to continue. Yeah, it's no more than England deserve. They started like a train. And it can be really difficult when you're playing against a mass defence like this, but you've got to play quick football, sharp football, good movement off the ball, and that's exactly what this goal is all about. Marueke. Livramento, Thomas coming in! Well, that would have been some goal, full back to full back once again. Livramento pushing forward, providing the width as Harvey Elliott drifts in field. Wonderfully weighted ball from Tommy Doyle. Marueke, Halligan's lurking, and so is Gibbs White, and Rodriguez somehow denies him. Oh, and fire! There was no stopping that. And England gain themselves a little bit of breathing space in thunderous style. When you've got fullbacks ball watching and attackers making moves, you've got a problem. And that's what happens here. You see Madueke making his run, the fullbacks looking at the ball. That's why Madueke gets in. Really gives White should score one attacking midfielder. He doesn't. Nice and calm, just concentrates on a clean strike. And when you do that, you tend to get the power and the precision. And the keeper's not going to keep that out. And in this case, he gets a first goal at this level. Maduweke looking to combine. As he squeezed it through, Balogun to make it three, maybe! Oh, well, Gibbs White does! Oh, Rodriguez couldn't keep hold of it. And Gibbs White was on the scene. And then it all starts with Maruake, who, virtually from a standstill, just puts on the afterburners and it's gone. He gets away from defenders, drives in field. And he's causing defensive consternation when he does that. You see, Pubel has no answer. Little give and go. Looks like the chance has gone. The ball breaks so kindly for Balogun, but he really telegraphs to Rodriguez where he's looking to finish this. The keeper reads it, but doesn't keep hold of it. That's the problem. Madueke. Up against Pubil and Alonso. Beyond them both to find Thomas. Balogun, fighting by Madueke. And the goalkeeper showing his worth again. Now it's a save the keeper should make, but from that position, Madueke drifting in. You know, on his right foot, it's not his stronger, but really should just be looking to pass that ball towards the far post. It's not about powering it home, it's just about making it really accurate, keeping it away from the goalkeeper, and it, it drives the ball down into the ground. It's not the cleanest strike. So Manchester City interest around. It's currently with Stoke. That's a great steal by Rosas from Livramento. He's got support from Fernandez. Brilliant from Rosas. It's a superb goal. Their first goal of the qualifying campaign it's one to forget for him, but it's one to treasure for Albert Rosas. Well, Andorra don't tend to score too many goals, but when they do score, they score them against England, and this is superb from Rosas. It's all his own work, the pressure he puts on Libramento, you know, initially on the halfway line to, to get the ball back is impressive. And then his balance, his speed, and that's brilliant work, closing down from the centre forward, then to hold Libramento off, who stumbles, but then just to check inside, a little nutmeg on Luke Thomas, and then the composure to drill it past Bursic. He's hardly had a sniff, Rosas, but just worked so hard to create this opportunity for himself, and he absolutely deserves the goal. Marueke. Oh, and Remelin's unable to get it away. Curtis Jones involved straight away. 
Doyle to strike it. Yeah, the idea is right, just doesn't wrap his instep around the ball enough. Good reaction to the Andorran goal from England. The significance. That's the leader leaving and three points behind the Czech Republic with two matches in hand. And by Libermento. Gordon! Oh, beautifully taken! Well, he's getting a taste for it at under 21 level. He made a real impression against the Czech Republic. And he's got something special now to remember this night, by A sensational technique. When the ball is out on the right with Liveramento, really, Alex Alonso, the Andorran right back, has to think about Anthony Gordon. OK, the ball's nowhere near you, but it could very quickly end up in your area of the pitch, which it does. So he's nowhere near Anthony Gordon. See, the right back is tucked in. He's watching the ball, so Anthony Gordon just drifts into space. And the technique is sensational. That is not easy at all, a dropping ball. Really controls it beautifully, just punches it. No chance for the goalkeeper. So you've got a fullback really drifting in, watching the ball, not staying with his man. And a wide midfielder making the very most of the, the time and space that he has. Went flying across the goal in the end, off target from Angel Gomez. How close is this? Because he gets the, the pace on it, the up and down movement on it. If that's on target, keeper's not saving it. Counts at the watch. And he blows a little early, Sabotic. The referee, the convincing victory expected for Lee Carsley. It's England and Lee Carsley who take away the three points ahead of an onerous trip to Albania to come later this week. The final score at the Vitality Stadium, a job done well by England. England 4, Andorra 1.